inactivity or failure to act is not where you want to be. See, it's almost like being a part of a team, being on the sideline with a strong desire to get in the game, but never, ever being able to muster up enough courage to just take that step and get into the game. You see, inactivity is not where you want to be because inactivity indirectly says, I'm cool with where I'm at. I don't need to do better. See, that's what you must understand. Courage is not the absence of fear. It's still being able to take that step in light of being afraid. Here's the thing. When you look at being active and really taking a step to do it, compared to being inactive, it's really no comparison. See, when you're inactive, it always leaves some negative emotions like guilt, regret, which amounts all to self-torment. In fact, there's three negatives that you acquire when you don't act or when you fail to take that first step. The first one is that, of course, a closed mouth don't get fed. So if you fail to act, you don't get what you want. That's first. The second uh, negative effect that it has on you is that your self-esteem takes a hit because the doubt starts to creep in and you start thinking, I wouldn't have been able to get it anyway. So the first step is you don't get it. The second step, your self-esteem takes a hit. And the third step is that you start thinking what could have, should have, or would have happened. And that's never where you want to be because it makes you double-minded. And we all know a double-minded man is unstable in all their ways. Now, let's look at when you're active, when you take that step regardless of the fear to go after what you want. You may not even succeed in getting it, but that's okay. But look at what else you don't get. You don't get the negative self-esteem. Because you're confident because I actually did it. In fact, you're more motivated and more confident, not as afraid to do it the next time. And again, you don't get to think of what could have, should have, or would have happened because you actually did it. So you know what will happen. In fact, you walk away with a learning lesson. See, so inactivity versus being active and doing it is no comparison. You lose threefold when you don't act and you gain when you act. Even if you don't succeed, you gain so much more when you act. So let me leave you with this. Faith without works is dead. So it doesn't matter your motivation or your intentions. If you can't muster up the courage to just do it, then you're indirectly telling everyone else, especially yourself, that I'm fine where I'm at. I don't need to do better. You were born to be great. Never forget that. And just be like Nike. Just do it. Never let doubt or fear stop you from taking that step because you win either way. Have a great evening.